Hey guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How you guys doing? I need a shave. Today I'm going to have a quick little video for you guys on some of the augmented reality features built into the new PlayStation Vita. Uh, the Nintendo 3DS has had some augmented reality on it for a little while now. Um, developers haven't really made a whole lot of use out of it. Um, Sony has gone ahead and included augmented reality games as part of the PlayStation Vita, which can only be a good thing. Uh, the more developers jump on board this stuff and start working on AR stuff, the better this AR stuff is going to become. Um, I'm really kind of, I'm digging this augmented reality stuff. It's a little gimmicky, but um, it really is kind of cool. And it definitely has a neat future if developers jump on board and uh, start developing this stuff. So I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys to show you some of the features of augmented reality on the PS Vita. So without further ado, here we go. I'm sure most of you are aware by now that Sony has gone ahead and integrated front and rear cameras into the PlayStation Vita. Here is the rear facing camera right in the center there at the top. The front facing camera is right over here above your traditional PlayStation buttons. Those are primarily here to support the augmented reality games. Yes, you can take pictures with them, and yes, it captures video. But to be perfectly honest with you, the cameras are only VGA quality. Um, the videos and pictures are not really very good. They're not going to replace your point and shoot or your DSLR by any stretch of the imagination. But they do work just fine for these augmented reality games. Okay, cool beans guys, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and use the table soccer game as a demonstration for using the AR cards. Mainly because table soccer makes use of all six of the AR cards. Before I get into it, I want to go ahead and apologize if my camera angles get really bad because this is kind of hard to film. So we'll go ahead and we'll just do a... Uh, we'll go ahead and play now. A solo game with, uh, you know, whatever regular teams there are. We're not really particular about the teams we're choosing here right now. And we'll go ahead and launch a game. Cool beans. Now, we don't have any cards laid down here right now. So what we're going to have to do is go ahead and lay down the first three cards. Card number one. Card number two. Try to zoom out here a little bit. There we go. Card number one, card number two, and of course, card number three. And that is going to go ahead and form a soccer, uh, you know, court. Soccer court, soccer field. Soccer field tone, not a soccer court. Cool beans. Around those three cards. And you can go ahead and resize the field if you like. Using the cards and spreading them out like this, and moving it back like this, you can go ahead and resize your soccer field, which is kind of cool. Let's take your uh, card number four, place it up here, and card number five, and place it up here, and that is going to give you some grandstands, so you have some fans cheering for you. Yay! Go! Woohoo! And then if you take card number six, you'll be able to place card number six up here at the top, and that is going to give you a scoreboard, so that you can, of course, keep track of whose butt you're kicking cool beans. So that is kind of the uh, way you go about playing table soccer there guys. Uh, the field looks a little weird here right now probably because I have the cards too close together here but if we move them out here a little bit maybe we can get it to you know focus out here a little bit. There you go that's a little better. I had the cards a little bit too close there. But as you can see it's kind of neat. Um, a little gimmicky sure but kind of cool and then you know you simply go ahead tap to begin and there you go you're all set to play some table soccer and you can set this up anywhere you like I have it here on the floor right now you could set it up on a table you know wherever you may happen to have room to play and it does of course make use of the six axis thing for the Vita in that you can move it around and kind of scroll around like so to move around and look around the field and so on and so forth and here's where my camera angles are going to get really weird and really jaggy but there you go you can, as you can see you can kind of move around look at all the different areas as you are playing the game so that is pretty much table soccer using the AR cards for the PS Vita 
Okay, cool beans. Here we are with another game that makes use of the augmented reality feature of the PS Vita by using the cameras that are built in to the Vita. This one is called Little Deviance. It was one of the launch titles available for the Vita as well as included in the Vita and the PS Vita first edition bundle. So we're going to go ahead and start that. I'm going to show you guys kind of how it works. Uh, we just have a little load screen we have to sit through here. This one's called Bots Invasion. And basically what's going to happen here is a whole bunch of uh, robot guys, the bots, are going to show up in your room and you kind of have to like look around and shoot the guys as they're showing up in your room. There's nobody here right now. But oh, here they come. Here they're coming. you got to go ahead and shoot them. And you simply use the six-axis control in the PlayStation Vita to move your Vita around and shoot the guys as they show up. Here we are, we're on stage two now. Like, get over here, get get back here, oh, okay, come on. As I know this is difficult to film and really show you guys what's going on here, but I'm sure you can see the guys are showing up on the screen and I'm shooting them and it's kind of cool. Sure, it's gimmicky and it's kind of hokey and kind of weird, but it's also really kind of cool. Fiora loves this. Fiora loves shooting guys as they fly around the room. She was, you know, playing this the one day and moving around. And the guys were uh, flying around Trista's head. And she was shooting Mummy in the head while she was playing the game. She thought that was absolutely hilarious. So, there you go. That is kind of part of how the augmented reality thing works into games like Little Deviants. Cool beans, guys. There you go. That is just a few of the augmented reality things that can be done using the PlayStation Vita. Um, as I mentioned in the intro, I think there's really kind of a cool future for augmented reality games here, not only on the Vita, but also in the 3DS and, and anything else that incorporates augmented reality games using front and rear facing cameras on portable handheld things. Um, as well as possibly consoles, who knows, sometime in the future we could see it integrated into controllers or uh, you know, using the PlayStation Move or the, the Wii or the Nintendo Kinect. Um, some of those could integrate augmented reality as well. Um, some of this augmented reality stuff is, yeah, yeah, granted, it's a little gimmicky. And it's kind of hokey. But, you know, it's really kind of cool what they can do with this software and stuff. So I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of looking forward to seeing what the future of augmented reality holds. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment box down below. Do you think augmented reality is cool? Do you think there's a future for it? Or do you think it's just gimmicky and weird and... Uh, it's not really going to catch on. I'm curious to see what you guys think. So that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button down there. If you like this video, maybe go ahead and favorite it. That definitely helps me out a lot. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Cool beans. Rock on.